Yo everyone, this is Yus here and today I'm bringing you a 5th generation OU battle. Yes, yes, I know, a lot of you are sick of this generation, but this battle is totally worth watching, okay? This is a match, this is a Yus vs Cezaioxys, this is a classic, it's been a year since I haven't faced this man. He finally decided to challenge me again, and yeah, let's get straight into the battle. So, he's gonna lead with his T-Tar, I'm gonna lead with my Bandit Infernape, just went for the safe U-turn, as he's gonna send in his Latias, that's gonna do a lot. And I'm gonna be able to have a free switch into my Salamence, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Claw, he's not going to see the Recoil, he's not going to see the Life Orb, he's not going to see the Leftovers, he's not going to predict the Expert Belt, and BOOM! Ferrothorn is gonna go down to that Fire Blast, so in comes uh, Heatran, for some reason I didn't expect him to be Scarf, so I stayed in, went for the Earthquake, but he's gonna double switch into his Rodom, and I'm gonna go for the, to my own Rodom, predicting the Will Wisp, because I'm a Rodom and I don't care about the Burner also. Just gonna go for the Hydro Pump, trying to get some damage there, but I missed unfortunately, and he's gonna hit me with the Will Wisp. Uh, like I said, it doesn't really matter, so... I'm finally gonna decide to su Volt Switch out into my uh, Reuniclus, but he's gonna do the same and he's gonna Volt Switch out into his T-Tar, so this is very very bad for my Reuniclus. I'm just gonna try to st stay in there because I know he has Pursuit and gonna try to get some damage there with the Focus Blast, but I missed unfortunately. But he now he went for the crunch as I try to save my Reuniclus as a Death Father. Sent in my Landorus T, but he has an Expert Belt on that thing, so... Who predicts that? Like, it's very hard to predict a Pokemon if he has a Expert Belt or not, so... In comes his Landorus, I'm gonna go for the U-turn, gonna go back into my Rotom. His Landorus doesn't have the Intimidate because of a Missa, but it didn't play a huge factor in this match, so I guess it doesn't really matter, so... I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump into his Rotom. I like the kind of damage I stayed in, went for another Hydro Pump, but since I guess he overpredicted something, he's sending back again his Landorus and boom, I'm gonna be able to finish it off there. Which is great news for my Bandit Infernape, so now in comes his Latias, I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch like uh, he went for the Roost, and I'm gonna go back into my Infernape knowing that I'm faster because I'm Infernape, but his Latias is timid and is gonna be able to outspeed, but Infernape such a beast, gonna survive with 11 HP, Finish off that thing with the U-turn, and I'm gonna go back into my Rodom, <clears throat> which is great. Latias is a threat, so now it's out of the way. In comes Tsar again. I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump, knowing that I'm not going to be able to finish it off due to the special defense boost. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna send in my Salamence. Gonna finish it off with the Dragon Claw. In comes Hitran, and now he reveals that his Choice Scarf. I should have predicted that because he sent in Hitran into my. Uh, Salamence two times, but I didn't, so oh well. I'm gonna go for the Scald, he's gonna send in his Rotom. Unfortunately, that didn't kill. I don't wanna take a uh, Pain Split, so I'm gonna go into my low in health Reuniclus, and he does in fact just did that. And now he's gonna be able to kill me with the Hydro Pump. No big deal, I still have my uh, Jelly Scent and uh, my Infernape, which I can easily kill his two last and deal with them properly. For some reason I went for the U-turn instead of the close combat, but I guess it doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna go into my Jellicent, he's gonna Magma Storm, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball because uh, my process was like, uh, I wasn't really sure if uh, a Scald was gonna be able to kill Rodom at the range of HPs was that, so I'm finally gonna decide to try to go for some Scalds there. Uh, Scald is a 2 hit KO on the amount of health on that Heatran and thankfully he's gonna send in his uh, Rodom, his, he was thinking that I was gonna recover so he wanted to go for a uh, pain split there unfortunately uh, that didn't work out for him and I'm gonna be able to kill off his two remaining guys with Jellicent so that was a very close game Siza, it was a pleasure battling you again after one year or so. That was like a lot of months, but I guess you were too busy with school and stuff, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this 5th generation battle. I have a Pokemon Stadium 2 against the one and only Mega Keldeo coming up next, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said. Leave your awesome feedback like always, and I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day, and peace out.